Volcanoes, they are windows into Earth's fiery heart, awe-inspiring in their power and beauty. But what if you found yourself on the precipice of an active volcano staring into its molten depths? What would happen if you fell in? The very thought sends shivers down your spine, a primal fear of being consumed by nature's raw energy. It's a scenario straight out of a disaster movie, a terrifying plunge into the unknown. Most of us imagine a slow, agonizing demise sinking into a lake of fire. The reality, however, is likely to be far swifter and less Hollywood-esque. The extreme temperatures, toxic gases, and sheer force of a volcanic eruption would make survival virtually impossible. Yet the human mind, ever curious, can't help but wonder, what if? What would those final moments be like and is there even the slightest chance of escaping such a predicament? Let's be clear, the human body is no match for the intense heat of molten lava. The sheer power and temperature of molten lava are beyond anything we encounter in our daily lives. Lava, reaching temperatures of up to 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 1,200 degrees Celsius, would incinerate flesh and bone almost instantly. This is a temperature so extreme that it can melt rock and metal with ease. To put that into perspective, that's hotter than the surface of some planets. For instance, Venus, known for its scorching heat, has a surface temperature of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine dipping your hand into a pot of boiling water. The pain would be excruciating and the damage immediate. Now multiply that heat several hundred times over. The intensity is almost unimaginable, far beyond what our bodies can endure. That's the kind of heat we're talking about. It's a level of heat that can turn solid rock into a flowing molten state. The water in your body would vaporize in a split second, and your bones, primarily composed of calcium and phosphorus, would disintegrate shortly after. The structural integrity of your body would be completely compromised, there would be little left but ash and dust, a testament to the immense power of nature's furnace. The remnants would be a stark reminder of the destructive force of lava. The human body, for all its resilience, simply cannot withstand such extreme temperatures. Our biological makeup is not designed to endure such conditions. It's a sobering reminder of our own fragility in the face of Earth's awesome forces. The power of nature is both awe-inspiring and humbling, reminding us of our place in the natural world. Lava, the lifeblood of volcanoes, is a fascinating and deadly force. It originates deep within Earth's mantle, a layer of molten rock kept in a semi-liquid state by intense pressure and heat. Think of it as a giant underground ocean of molten rock, constantly churning and shifting beneath our feet. When pressure builds up, it finds release through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust, resulting in a volcanic eruption. But lava isn't just molten rock. It's a complex cocktail of minerals, gases, and dissolved elements, each contributing to its unique properties. The composition of lava varies depending on the volcano and its location. Some lava flows are slow and viscous, like honey, while others are fast-moving and fluid, like water. This difference in viscosity depends on the silica content of the lava. High silica content results in thicker, slower-moving lava, while low silica content creates faster, more fluid flows. While the extreme heat of lava is undoubtedly deadly, it's not the only danger lurking within a volcano's fiery embrace. Volcanic eruptions release a deadly cocktail of toxic gases, including sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide. These gases, invisible to the naked eye, can be just as lethal as the lava itself, causing suffocation, respiratory failure, and even death. Imagine yourself caught in a cloud of these noxious fumes. Your lungs would burn with each breath, your vision would blur, and you'd be overcome by a wave of dizziness and nausea. The heat from the surrounding lava would be the least of your worries. Then there's the pyroclastic flow, a superheated avalanche of gas, ash, and volcanic debris that can race down the slopes of a volcano at speeds of up to 450 miles per hour. These flows are incredibly destructive, incinerating everything in their path. Section 5 Against All Odds, Could You Survive a Volcano's Embrace? The odds of surviving a fall into a volcano are, to put it mildly, astronomically slim. The intense heat alone, which can reach up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, is enough to incinerate almost anything in its path. It's a scenario where death is almost certain. The sheer force of the eruption can send debris flying at incredible speeds, adding another layer of danger. The combination of extreme heat, 
toxic gases and physical trauma from the fall itself leaves little room for anything but a swift and fiery demise. These gases, such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, can be lethal even in small concentrations. However, let's indulge in a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you somehow managed to avoid the initial fall and found yourself in a less perilous position. Let's say, by some miracle, you found yourself at the edge of a lava flow, not directly submerged in it. The heat would still be intense but you might have a slim chance of survival. Your first instinct would be to run, and rightfully so. The key here is to remain calm and think strategically about your escape route, but in this case knowing where to run is crucial. Lava flows can be unpredictable and the terrain around a volcano can change rapidly. Lava flows, while incredibly hot, are relatively slow moving. This gives you a small window of opportunity to make your escape. You wouldn't need to outrun the lava itself, but rather the heat it radiates and the potential for the flow to change direction. The radiant heat can cause severe burns even from a distance. Seeking higher ground and moving perpendicular to the flow's direction would be your best bet. Higher ground offers a vantage point to better assess the situation and plan your next move. Of course, this is all purely hypothetical. The chances of finding yourself in such a scenario and surviving are incredibly slim. The reality is that the environment around an active volcano is incredibly volatile and unpredictable. It's a reminder of the raw power of nature and the importance of respecting these natural wonders from a safe distance. Section 6. Volcanic Wonders facts that will blow your mind. Volcanoes, despite their destructive potential, are a source of endless fascination. Did you know that the largest volcano in our solar system isn't even on Earth, it's Olympus Mons on Mars, a behemoth three times the height of Mount Everest? And speaking of Mount Everest, the pressure at the summit of this towering peak is so low that water boils at a mere 162 degrees Fahrenheit, significantly lower than the standard 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about volcanic lightning. It's a real phenomenon, as electrifying as it sounds. During an eruption, the ash particles ejected into the atmosphere can rub together, creating static electricity that discharges as lightning. It's a mesmerizing display of nature's power, a reminder that even in the most chaotic of events, there's a strange and beautiful order to the universe. Section 7. The Allure of the Inferno – Why We're Drawn to Volcanoes Despite the inherent danger, volcanoes have held a strange allure for humans for centuries. The sight of molten lava flowing, the ground trembling beneath our feet, and the sky filled with ash and smoke create a spectacle that is both terrifying and mesmerizing. Perhaps it's their raw power, a force of nature that dwarfs our own existence. The sheer magnitude of an eruption can make us feel small and insignificant, reminding us of the Earth's immense power. Or maybe it's the sheer beauty of an eruption a fiery spectacle that captivates the eye and ignites the imagination. The vibrant colors, the dynamic movement, and the raw energy of the eruption create a natural fireworks display that is unparalleled. Whatever the reason, volcanoes remind us of the immense power that lies beneath our feet, a constant reminder that we live on a dynamic and ever-changing planet. Think about it. Every eruption is a testament to the Earth's restless nature, constantly reshaping the landscape. Volcanoes are responsible for creating some of the most fertile land on Earth. The minerals and nutrients released during an eruption enrich the soil making it incredibly productive for agriculture. The ash and volcanic debris while initially destructive break down over time releasing valuable nutrients into the soil. This process transforms barren landscapes into lush, green fields teeming with life. It's no coincidence that many ancient civilizations flourished in the shadow of volcanoes. They harnessed the fertile land for agriculture, building their societies on the rich volcanic soil. They understood the delicate balance between risk and reward, respecting the volcano's power while harnessing its benefits. Today, people continue to live near volcanoes, drawn by the fertile land and the unique beauty of these fiery mountains. Section 8. Respecting Nature's Fury – Lessons from Volcanic Encounters Volcanic eruptions, while often devastating, offer valuable lessons about our place in the grand scheme of things. They remind us that we are but temporary inhabitants of this planet, subject to the whims of forces far greater than ourselves. The Earth, for all its beauty and wonder, is a force to be reckoned with. It's a humbling thought, one that should inspire both awe and respect. We've made great strides in understanding volcanoes, developing sophisticated monitoring systems and evacuation plans to mitigate the impact of eruptions. 
Yet for all our technological advancements, we can't control nature. We can only learn to live in harmony with it, respecting its power and adapting to its ever-changing moods. It's a lesson we would do well to remember, not just in our interactions with volcanoes, but in our relationship with the planet as a whole. Section 9. A Final Spark. Pondering the Power of Volcanoes. So, the next time you see an image of a volcanic eruption, take a moment to appreciate the sheer power and beauty of these natural wonders. Remember the immense forces at play, the delicate balance between creation and destruction that shapes our planet. And while the thought of falling into a volcano might be the stuff of nightmares, it's a stark reminder of the incredible forces that have shaped our world and continue to do so today. Volcanoes in all their fiery glory are a testament to the dynamism of our planet, a reminder that beneath the surface of our everyday lives, there's a world of wonder waiting to be explored. So keep looking up at the stars, keep asking questions, and never lose your sense of wonder. The universe, much like a volcano, is full of surprises.